Today, Arlington and Alexandria school districts will argue in court against Governor Glenn Youngkin's order saying masks in schools should be left to the parents' discretion, not a school mandate. Plus, as we've been telling you, we've got a new name coming this morning for the Washington football team. Joining us now to discuss both is WMAL host Larry O'Connor. Larry, good morning. Good to see you. Okay. Good, good morning, guys. <laughs> That's out it's, there. It, it's my last chance. It's the last hurrah. So I'm just going to, I'm going all in, all I, right. you know. As of today, it's no more. So Yeah, well, we'll get to that story. I know you're itching to talk about it in a little <laughs> mm -hmm. bit here. Let's start, start here with the mask mandate, the lawsuits with Governor Glenn Youngkin. You know, it, it's interesting because it really comes down to whether the governor has the say here in terms of, of legal uh, stuff, whether the governor has a say or the school districts. We'll have to see what the, what the courts decide. But what do you think about this? Well, there is a third factor in here, and that's whether the parents have a say in the health and well-being and decisions like this for their parents. And that's written in Virginia code. So the parents have a say in this as well. And really, that's what the governor's executive order says, that uh, allow the parents to actually participate and have the final say. One thing that's very frustrating, I think, for many voters, especially in light of what happened in the last election, is that when they were complaining to school boards about the mask mandates all during the Northam administration, the school board members would say, listen, we hear you, we understand, but there's nothing we can do because the governor has directed that we have to do this. Now that the new governor is in and the governor has given these school board members a decision that they don't agree with, now they're going to sue. Where were they fighting back against the governor back then? Uh, that, that makes their excuse sort of ring hollow. And it's one of the things people hate about politicians. What about the school districts claim that they're simply following what the CDC is saying and they're falling in line with that? Well, I understand that. And the CDC, let's remember, have been all, all over the map on this thing. Um, there are other states and other districts in Virginia who are looking at the CDC guidance and deciding, yeah, you know what, we get that, but we're going to uh, allow parents to have the final say in this. And I think that's really what parents want. They're Listen, the CDC says that you shouldn't have a cheeseburger beyond medium well. Uh, who here doesn't have a medium rare cheeseburger, right? You make a good point. Uh, speaking of final says, what say you on the, the new name? Do you think it's already out there or you think this is a misdirection? You know, if this whole commander's thing is just a fake, you know, it is probably one of the most brilliant marketing strategies. And if they come up with another name 30 minutes from now, that will be very interesting. Listen, we don't have control over this. Mr. Snyder and the whole team over they're going to decide what their name is uh, my radio station wmal has a long history with the redskins and a shorter history with the washington football team whatever it is i'm going to root for the home team but uh i don't know what i'm going to do with all this swag can, Larry, I, can you, I sell it <laughs> do you think it's giving the 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 washington football team too much credit hmm. that they had some folks are saying if it were any other team yes they would be they'd manage this kind of fake out but we're talking about the washington football team <laughs> they fumbled the, the ball literally as they've been doing and figuratively I am such an optimist on this. Let me just say two things. First of all, the Cincinnati Bengals two years ago were the worst team in the league, and they're going to the Super Bowl. So anything can happen. And secondly, guys, let's just hold hands and acknowledge one great thing. No matter what happens a half an hour from now, no matter what the name is, we as fans will never be Philadelphia Eagles fans. And that's a blessing. You're right. We've got that going for us. <laughs> I mean, we're going to count them all. Okay, Larry the Optimist <laughs> this morning. Okay. And keep all of your gear. Keep it all. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I'm going to keep it. But I, I don't know if I can bring it to the stadium, though. <laughs> all right. Larry, thank you. <laughs> 737. Coming up.